In this video we're going to explain the role of an email server in retrieving and sending emails and mention the protocols associated with it. So I'm pretty convinced that all of you guys use emails. Well, your mails are stored on mail servers and these act like a virtual online post office for all incoming and outgoing mail. Now there are three main protocols that, uh, you, um, that operate. Uh, two are in your specification, the POP3 protocol and the SMTP protocol, but I was also going to touch on the IMAP protocol just to, just to round it off. So when you send uh, or receive mail, it's these mail servers which are holding and storing them. Now we'll start with the SMTP protocol that is in your specification. This is the protocol that's responsible for transferring outgoing mails from one server to another or from an email client to a server. So on this computer you're sending an email and it's the SMT protocol which will send it to the mail server. If it then has to go on to someone else, it's SMTP that will forward it onto the destination mail server. Now eventually at some point, someone at the other end will then try and access that email. When you're retrieving a mail from a mail server, you're using one of these two protocols, POP3 or IMAP. So POP3 retrieves emails from a mail server, but it removes it from the server and transfers it to your device. So you think about that for a second. You've sent this email and using SMTP, it's gone to this mail server and it's gone all the way over here and it's sitting here. It's waiting for me to get it. I log onto my computer one day and the POP3 um, protocol goes to the mail server, sees there's an email there for me and retrieves it. And it removes the email from the server. Now that sounds fine, However, as you may, may well be aware, in today's day and age, people tend to have lots of connected devices. So here we have a little wireless network, and uh, we've got a desktop PC, we've got a laptop, and we've also got a phone. And these could all be mine. This could be uh, my desktop in my office. This could be the laptop I use to and from work. And I could also check my emails on my phone. Now, if I log on with my phone, and it has POP3 running, POP3 will connect to the mail server, and pull the email off. If I then go to my office PC and check for email, it will go to the server and not discover any. So we start to become out of sync. And this is where IMAP came from, the Internet Message Access Protocol. This keeps the email on the mail server. And of course, this now allows for synchronicity between devices. So we have another copy over here in the running IMAP. And any one of these devices can connect and check for mail the mail server will return it to the device, but it keeps a copy. So if I then switch to one of my other devices, I can still get the copy of that email.